Yo, what up, what up, what up? There's your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beats. Yes. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how I did mix this song here. Um whereby the vocals um sit properly together with the beat and the beat is not overshadowing the uh, vocals or the vocals is not overshadowing the beat. Um so first of all we have to listen to the uh, some part of the song here. It's a rap song. Then after that I just show you the process how I did that. So show you one or two tricks in it, then you apply it to your own and practice more and trust me you're going to get better. So if you are new to the channel here and if not subscribed yet, please subscribe to support your boy like and also comment down there all those things help your boy to grow as well okay and you've been watching my videos too and if not yet subscribe please try and support your boy by subscribing okay so let's listen to some part of the um, vocals with the beat then after that i show you the process oh, damn, wow. damn. Making every line meaningful. Meaning to me, your brothers, and it's very simple. You can never do this, and the guy I'm used to. For command, I'm free to hold this, I will go crush you. Huh. A whole lot of guns shit, but the fact is, I'm too wise and too dope, including my tempting. The new seven, the boys, boys, and they are catfish. I wish you all with this, your Friday practice. Oh. Okay, so you can hear the vocals, and you can also hear the beat. They match up together. That is, nothing is overshadowing anything. So this is the process, this is how I did go about, you know, first of all, I do create a group for it because um, because of CPU something something, I don't actually put everything on it and be copying the same plugins each and everywhere on each track. So I create a group whereby the group will controlling um, the lead vocal um, track or if you have backings to you can create or you can just do one or two things on there. But I do create, I created only one group for this one because I have um only one person doing the verse and only one or two uh, back back in there so i didn't actually do too much on it so this is how i do it after creating the group and everything i put my c1 gate on it so let let me mute all the um the effects you get it i'm muting all the effects then we listen to the raw vocals without the beat so after that you go through it Oh, oh, day, oh, wow. day. Making every line meaningful. Meaning what to me and your brothers and it's very simple. You can never do this and the guy I'm used to. Coco man, I'm free to what this year will go crush you. Huh. You can actually hear that it's clean. So let's listen to it together with the beat. Oh, wow. Making every line meaningful. Meaning what to me and your brothers and it's very simple. You can never do this and the guy I'm used to. Coco man, I'm free to what this year will go crush you. Yes, and that one too, you can hear it. I always tell you people that before you can get a clean mix, the better way you have to do is uh, whenever you are recording it, you just have to record it right. You get it? Um, you shouldn't make your beat overshadow your recording even when there is no effect on it. You're supposed to hear the beat and you're supposed to hear the vocals too. You get it? Mixing is just by cleaning things. It's not about um, boosting or not only sometimes you have to boost yes necessary when it's necessary but it shouldn't be too low whereby you have to be raising volumes to match up with your beat yeah you get what i'm saying or be lowering your uh, the volume of your beat after after that you just makes everything you think it sound okay you master it and it doesn't sound loud or you try to make it loud and start distorting you get what i'm saying so you just have to make sure that your um, vocals have been recorded properly and i mean loud enough for you to hear it in the right way together with the beat you get it yeah so after doing that making sure that you recording it in the right way trust me your mixing is going to be i mean easy for you because back in the days when i didn't know all those things i just record low and at the end of the day i'll be boosting out I, I can even just click on this thing like this and um, just drag it up like this just to make sure that i can hear the vocals which wasn't the right way you get it so make sure you re record it clear whenever you play the beat without any effect you can still hear your vocals you you get it yes if you if you watch or go to professional studios more times without effect you hear it it sound okay and everything so that's the best way you're supposed to make sure you record after recording all those things in the right way then putting effect on it becomes easy for you and you know what so after this then I just put my C1 gate on it. And C1 gate, you know what my C1 gate always does for me? Um, Those uh, background noises, if your room is not actually treated, your home studio is not actually treated well, then um, me mostly I use this or sometimes 
i can just use the stock plugin um if you don't have waves or this you can just go ahead and use if you're using cubase gate yes if you can use the gate here and which is also okay by just adjusting the threshold over here you get it any daw that you're using now I, I guess they have stock plugin there if you don't have waves yeah you can just go ahead and use any gate of your own choice but that's what i'm using you have our filter gate and it also helps okay so this one is blocking the background noises and the next thing that uh the next process that i started doing was eqing you get it eqing some frequencies which i didn't like it's because these ones were actually making the sound sound bad so i just have to make sure i do subtractive eq i always do subtractive eq before trying to boost it if i subtract certain things from inside and i think it's okay for me i don't need to boost any frequencies of my own choice you get it so with the eq on it and that's how it sounds huh. a whole lot of guys said but the fact is i'm too wise and too dope including my thinking and let me just take the eq from it and listen making every line meaningful many would to me your brothers and it's very simple you can never do this any guy i'm used to come on i'm free to what this year will go crush you huh. a whole lot of guys said but the fact is i'm too wise and too dope. as you can see it whenever i activate the eq it brings out its clarity you get it doesn't sound too muddy as in um bass you doesn't hear it being too bass you get it because the person is having um, a heavy voice so you just have to know how to balance it together with the beat and everything yes so i just cut some cut out some frequencies using this eq you get it and the next thing is the um, the compressor you know the work of the compressor i'll always explain it to you that um if you have been following me i always tell you that the compressor is to make sure our dynamic range are actually good you get it we, we shouldn't have um some part of the vocals you, you can see that this part of the wave here is actually down more than this part so uh, on a normal uh, on a normal platform you can actually hear that um this part will be playing uh lower than this part here will be playing louder than this part you get it because here is actually big and here is small so so this part will play low and here will play loud so we use the compressor to do that sometimes people too can just be cutting them you get it they can just cut them then try to drag things down to meet what they they are looking for but you can also use the compressor if you're using the compressor and it's not working then you try to adjust it manually then after that you try use your compressor to also um, push things there so for me this is what i did after putting the compressor on it is what i had so i didn't i selected um, a preset punchy vocals to get it it's a wrap and i wanted to punch punchy vocals then i did i adjusted my threshold and uh, my attack and my release after selecting that preset yes so with the compressor on it and i'll just take it off so you get to know the difference making every line meaningful many would to me your brothers and it's very simple you can never do this any guy i'm used to come on i'm free to what this year will go crush you huh a whole lot of guys so without the compressor let's listen to this part and this part and see the difference come on i'm free to what this year will go crush you huh a whole lot of guys straight but if so you can actually hear that this part plays louder than this part so the compressor will tighten things up for us so that um each and every effect you are putting on your vocals or your whenever you are doing your mixing make sure you know what and why you are just putting that kind of um plugging effect on it you get it you know why you are putting don't just put it on it because they are saying mixing you do eq you after eq you compress after compress you ds after ds you just do then you'll be putting them on it just like that just understand i'm having this problem with the vocals it doesn't sound like the way i want it so this one i have to use a compressor to make sure my dynamic range and make sure i tighten the vocal okay i want to remove some frequencies poking my ear so what should i use to do that that's the eq then you go for the eq i'm having some sibilances or some harsh harsh words in it so then you go for the ds then you understand what you are doing you get it then just following some theory that eq compressed ds you just without even way maybe you recorded the vocals very nice and you don't know it shouldn't be compressed too much or eq but then you you just follow the routine and you just spoil the song for yourself you get it so the compressor is doing this thing for me then the next thing i did again i put another compressor on it because i wanted to feel the energy in the song and everything so 
I compress it around negative 12 point and this is the compressor that I'm using from Waves Arvox and I brought the gain down to this level and my gate another gate here to this so this how it sound with the compressor and I'll take it off then you get to know the difference Making every line meaningful. Many would to me and your brother saying it's very simple. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. So let me take the compressor off. Making every line meaningful. Many would to me and your brother saying it's very simple. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. Co so you can actually, uh, it brings the energy. Yes, it tightens up the vocals and brings out its energy. Yes, it's a rap and you're supposed to see its aggressiveness. That's how. Uh, that's why I'm doing too much compression on this one so that you can see it ag aggressive now it if it was just some singing or anything then I wouldn't have been done doing this kind of too much compression on it so it depends on the track and what you really want to achieve so that's why I'm saying you're supposed to know what you are actually doing you get it don't follow any routine or you just see people doing it and they get something like because their studio is different from your studio their equipment is different from yours so probably you just have to understand and know how to treat your um, your mics and everything, how things get into your DOW. Just know how to treat them, not by following people. Um, like this one, I'm explaining things to you, so you just have to understand and do it in your own way. Don't go by my method that I do by because each and every time when you watch my videos, I do um, mix most of the song differently, but most of the time I use the same um, compressors or maybe the. But I do the numbers and everything changes you get it and how i eq them changes so because i know what i was just treating okay so the dsr um so if you listen without it there are some semblances in it that i just wanted to take it out making every line meaningful meaning what you mean your brother said it's very simple it's very simple you get that please so with the dsr on it Brother said it's very simple. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. Coco man for me new to me your brother said it's very simple. You yes, you can actually hear that. Which me your brother said it's very simple. Yes, then it reduces. So what I did here was um I just brought the threshold down to negative four one and I pushed this uh addition audition range to fifteen point ninety seven kilohertz. So that's the only thing I did using this DS. And the next thing is another EQ. And what I'm using this EQ for is um I brought, I'm just bringing the low, uh, the low ends down because I, I felt that it was too muddy for me still and it wasn't sounding together with the beat bass. Oh, oh, day, wow. oh, day. Making every line meaningful. Many would to me and your brother send it's very simple. Without. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. Coco man, I'm free to, what this year will go crush you? So you can see that it makes it clear. Okay, so this, the EQ is not on it. Listen. Making every line meaningful. And the EQ. It's on its lesson. Making every line meaningful. Meaning what you mean. So I'll just cut in the low ends and around 50 hertz. You get it? So yes. That's what I'll just do with the EQ. So this is the process that I do. So with just this one with the beat. Now this is what we have now. Making every line meaningful. Meaning what you mean your brother said it's very simple. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. For come on, I'm free to what this year we go crush you. A whole lot of gun shit, but the fact is I'm too wise and too dope, including my team. Very nice thing. Then, the next thing is reverb, delay, and the rest. So, I created an FX and I didn't put the reverb straight on the track like that. So, I just created an FX and if you're using Cubase, you have it then. Pro Tools and other stuffs, they say they call it bass and so, so, and so. But for Cubase, um, we call it FXN. So you create the FXN and you put the effect you want to use. So reverb, I put this is the reverb that I'm using. Valhalla Vintage Verb. Yes, this is the reverb that it's a very nice reverb. So my this is the settings. My decay around 2.54. Pre delay this and the mix. Yes, and I call some of the low ends. That's all. And I chose the mode type. That is the plate. So and I'm sending it to the vocals here. So with a reverb on it on the vocals this is what we are having so i adjust the amount of reverb i wanted to be on making every line meaningful meaning what you mean your brother said it's very simple without the reverb oh, you can never do this any guy i'm used to Co with the reverb Co come on i'm free to what this year we go crush you huh. a whole lot of something little just to create some space for the beat and everything you get it i didn't want it too dry and i didn't want it too wet so i ran negative 20.11 was okay and the next thing is the delay and this time around i'm using um a slab delay so it's just a preset 
that I selected. So slap delay inserts and I like the way it makes the vocal sound. You get it? So with the delay on it to this what we have. In every line meaningful, meaning what you mean your brother saying it's very simple. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. You get it? Yeah, it's very small. I like I it. Do that this way. any guy I'm used to. Then to make it ping pong and be still with it in around your ears, even when you pause it or anything, yes, the vocals end. So after that, I just wanted to add um distortion to it. That one is just personal choice, you get it? Distortion to it and make it feel okay, but I didn't put it direct on it. That one too, I created an FX scene. Like before, yes, FX scene. And I just send it, to choose the amount of it. So I selected a preset saturation, gentle saturation. Then I brought the drive all the way down. So because I'm sending it, I have to control the amount that I'm sending. But I, on the, on the um, plugin here, I just put everything to 100%. Then the next thing is um, I was just adjusting this the amount of uh, distortion is supposed to be on. So with the distortion on it, this high sound. Making every line meaningful. Meaning what you mean your brother saying it's very simple. And without the distortion. Making every line meaningful. Meaning what you mean your brother saying it's and just make it aggressive and sweet for uh, for the ears. You get it? So that one is just personal. You can just do anything. You can just put any effect as an effect or anything on it. It depends on what you really want. You get so the next the last thing i did was i think the echo i used the echo boy on his um chorus which i can't play for you guys because um he has not yet released the song and i'm trying to do a tutorial with you with it for you guys so that's all that i did for this song so try it and be practicing it in your own way understand your sound mixing to get the right thing somebody can teach you yeah but if you don't practice it and understand your sound listen to your sound and listen to why the wrongs that you've been doing trust me it will be hard for you to get there i can show you the process and everything to mix and master but if you don't practice it to understand your sound and everything you can't do and achieve what you really want to achieve so let's listen to it once and for all thank you for watching and it's your boy king series please subscribe to support your boy yes and i'm out Making every line meaningful. Meaning what you mean, your brother said it's very simple. You can never do this any guy I'm used to. For common, I'm free to what this year we go crush you. Huh. A whole lot of guns shit, but the fact is I'm too wise and too dope, including my tank. Okay. Me new seven, the boys, boys, me they a catfish. I wish you all with this your Friday practice. Oh.